And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a little game called Inklings. This is a party word style game uh, by John Keyworth from Osprey Games. This is a game in which you are putting words on a table, or letters on a table, and having people guess words from them. Well, how hard can that be? Well, here's the deal. You don't have enough letters to make these words. You don't even have the right letters, but you can still do it. How? Well, I'll give you an inkling. Here we go. Inklings is a very simple game. You have a pile of word cards, and each player is going to get a word card. This has a list of words on it that are worth points. So here we have wife, front, color, trouble, football, and framework. Framework being worth three points, wife, front, color, one point. And you can see this is a game from England, um, although I suppose you could uh, you know, use the American spelling of the word if you want to. Each player is also going to get a word sheet here where you're going to be trying to guess the words to the person to your left and to your right. And then players are going to be drawing cards from this letter deck. Now this letter deck has all sorts of words. You're going to start with eight of them. It has all sorts of letters. So this is a T. This is an R, this is a K, here we have an A, an O, that's an I, or a small L, this is an N, I'm sorry, a C, I mean a U, and here we have an N or a Z. So that's the thing about this game, is these letters can be anything you want. This is now a P, or even an I if I need it to be. Any, almost any of the letters can be an I. And so what you're going to be trying to do is at the same time, everyone's going to be putting their letter cards in front of them, trying to create words, as many words as they can on their card. You're trying to get everyone else to guess all these words in three rounds. So for example, I might have put these letters in front of me, the cards like this. You can, like, you can do anything you want. This is not as well done as it might have been. Like maybe actually... I might have put this one, I don't know what I would have done. So here, for example, I have, I put the word R-O-N-T, and I put, there's another letter there, by putting one of my cards face down. Now I'm hoping that people would pick front, because there's not too many cards that have that, you know, another letter here. So then if people know that's an F, they know this is I-F-E, this is an upside down A, so wife is an of word, but wife is, and I would hope that they would guess that. So what you're going to do after people put out their letters is you're going to sit there and you're going to guess the words to the right and left of you. You're trying to get them correct and you can guess however many words they may have put out. Then everyone has a chance to discard some of their letters. So I might go, I don't need this K and uh, no, nah, that's the only one I'm going to discard. You can discard up to two of them to draw replacements and then everyone's going to get more cards added on top of that. And then you do the same thing again. And you're gonna do this for three rounds. After three rounds, everyone's gonna show their word card out like this. And for each word you guess correctly, you're going to score. And for each word that was guessed correctly by the other people is your score. So you're gonna add up the scores that you have, that you guessed and that they guessed, add these together for one big total. And whoever has the highest amount is the winner. I'm very happy with the quality of this game. It is Osprey. Their games are good quality. Nice little box here. These letter cards are great. They did a really good job. I think the distribution of letters is great. You'll probably disagree when you're playing. But I love stuff like this. That's an S, right? Or a C. You know, or an N. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can do with these. And it allows you to be pretty clever. And I also like the design on them. And then there's quite a few of these word cards here. There's no way you'll memorize these. This leaves you with many, many, many games to play with. The score pads where you might run into some issues because you're going to be going through quite a few of these. You're one per player per game. I would do what I always do with these games and laminate them. But I'm happy with the components for this. 
This game is clever. That's the word for it. And it allows you to be clever. Now, some people may not like that aspect, but I love the idea of taking letters and turning them upside down and covering them up with other ones, curving your word, to sometimes trying to get three words in the same spot. It's very entertaining and interesting. We've done a live play of this game on our channel that you can check out to see how the game works. Uh, but it's fast. I mean, you just have that one card. And I bet for most people, you won't play it once. You'll play it and go, oh, okay, let's try it again. And I don't know. I like clever games in general, but I like games that make me feel more clever than I actually am. And that's what I think Inkling does. Now, granted, you're going to have a word that has no R's and you're going to draw four R's. And you, what do you do then? Well, you can change R's to P's or I's or turn them upside down. But the game also lets you discard a couple cards between rounds. Sometimes you get the cards you need for a word. In fact, if you see our live playthrough, you'll see in one instance, I got all the letters I needed to build my a word straight up. But you know what? That didn't help me with the other words on my list. And that's one of the cool things. I think they did a good job building these word lists, making it so that it's really difficult to get people to guess all six words. In fact, I'm very impressed when that happens. But this is the kind of game where even if I lose or win, it just made me feel like I did some cool things. And it's fun to look at other people's words and try to guess what they were thinking. This is a word game that's unlike other word games out there. It feels unique in and interesting. I don't know how often people are going to want to play it. I don't know if it's something I want to play all the time. But it's definitely a game when I played it, I said, I like this. I feel like they were trying to do something different and cool. And for that reason, I will gladly recommend Inklings. I'm Tom Vassell. You've been watching The Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment approved.